So our core dam safety program involves a lot of different aspects. I'll say there are a lot of uh, tasks which are repeated annually and concurrent and, on and ongoing. Those would involve things like the reading of instrumentation at our dams, monitoring the health of our dams, doing reports associated with that, uh, performing inspections, both annual inspections and more detailed inspections on a less frequent basis. Uh, so we have an inspection program, we have a monitoring and instrumentation program. Uh, we also have a robust design and construction program to improve and uh, rehabilitate things that get older and deteriorate at our dams. And uh, then there's a lot of other things like we do uh, emergency action plan preparation. Our water management group does a lot of that and we work with them in Geotech branch. So that's all dam safety, making sure we have plans that should something uh, go wrong at a dam, or even if not, something's not going wrong. If we have spillway flow, which is the proper performance of a dam, but it releases a lot of water downstream, how we would notify people who to call uh, and work with downstream emergency responders and our emergency management office, preparing those plans, doing exercises to go through with our dam operators and all those different organizations, both core and external to the core, as to how we would respond in a dam situation. Uh, we, we were involved a lot with that in the dam safety program. And then there's, there's just uh, lots of other things that crop up. We do uh, pretty robust risk studies on a periodic basis for our dams as well, reassessing the health of a dam, making sure something hasn't changed that jeopardizes uh, the, the public in a different way due to new development downstream, those sorts of things. So that involves a lot of engineering assessment as well as uh, getting products from certain agencies or certain organizations within the Corps that support that, such as new flood mapping and inundation mapping and consequence analysis downstream of, for the public, that sort of thing. So there's a lot of missions of dam safety pretty widespread. We have 15 dams that we take care of. Uh, so we have what we call periodic inspections on a five-year basis. Those periodic inspections are very robust inspections, which include geotechnical engineers, geologists, structural, mechanical, electrical engineers. We look at all the systems in the dams. We go up tunnels, we go in towers, we look at everything. So uh, those form the basis of identifying any deterioration or issues at the dam that uh, you know, require upgrades or construction or measures to address and make sure the dam is staying in its originally intended condition to you know, be in great shape and perform as expected. So those periodic inspections are really the key to that, to addressing those issues and they inform our budgeting process and, and what projects come along to, to do that. Uh, and, and of course we assess our instrumentation and all as part of that. Uh, the, in addition to those five-year inspections, we also come to all of the dams annually. Uh, again, each year we're only going to a, a handful of dams for those five-year detailed inspections, but then we also come out and we walk the dams fully, especially the embankments, uh, on an annual basis and coordinate with the dam operators during those trips, take instrument readings, just look whether anything is out of the ordinary, talk to the dam operators about what they're seeing every day. For our five-year periodic inspections, it takes about a day, uh, but there's, there's months worth of work uh, beyond that in both the preparation and coordination in advance, and we write very thorough, quality, robust reports after that, uh, and that takes weeks and weeks of effort and preparation for those reporting and reviews uh, and how we track the recommendations that come out of that. So. Uh, for our annual inspections that are more geotechnically based, uh, that we do at all of our dams, uh, that usually involves, uh, I would say, two to four people uh, that would come out on an annual basis and walk with the dam operators, do inspections and uh, document and site visit reports what we're seeing there. Thank you.